Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this tarot reading right here, right now, is specifically for Cancer for the month of May 2018. <laughs> We're talking about breakfast here on the channel. For those who don't know, I record these videos live now on our live stream, which happen every morning here on the channel. And on the Sunny Side, in the morning, we have a. Uh, Horoscopes in the morning, obviously, because I'm a professional astrologer. I write horoscopes for the newspapers up here in Canada. And at night, we have tarot readings, like the ones I'm about to give you right now. And if you're interested in that stuff or you want to see what's going on, then by all means, tune in live on the sunny side. When breakfast was sunny in the morning or late night tarot, say hello. You know, by all means, please say hello. You might make a friend. I want to make no friends, Sonny. I'm cancer. I snip you. I don't want to make no friends. I just want to snip, 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 snip. <laughs> okay, stop it. And anyways, Gabe here, who is a cancer, is saying he likes breakfast burritos. It's all cool. I like breakfast burritos, too. I like I like lunch burritos. I like brunch burritos. I like mid-afternoon snack burritos. I like nap time burritos. You know those burritos you eat right before you take a nap? I like those. I like wake up and... I like late night burritos that you eat after going drinking. <laughs> like I like the like I like the next day burritos. You know when you knew it was a wild time when because you had breakfast twice in one day. You're like whoa that was one party. I like those burritos. And you know. All right here we go. Labyrinth first card up. For those everybody knows the scene here, so we'll just chug along. I having technical difficult. Okay, not that everybody needs to know this. Let's just read the cards. Labyrinth. Do, 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 do. This is for Cancer for May 2018. Labyrinth. When you think you've done everything you can, you hit a wall and have to start again. I am the labyrinth. I am the labyrinth. I am. Cook, cook, eat you. What up, Sonny? Keeps you going through trial and error to the end. There are no shortcuts to success, my friend. All right. This card's about making your way through a confusing stream of events often by trial and error. You may have goals and destinations you wish to reach, but getting there may prove more difficult than you expected. Your road isn't a direct one, but has twists and turns, no matter how much you plan and strategize. At some point, you will face inevitable mistakes. Be prepared for a few false turns and dead ends. The Labyrinth card directs you to retrace your steps if necessary and take a direct route. Sometimes, there simply is no direct path, Regrouping and starting again is not failure. It's all part of the process. Even when you feel you're starting back at square one, you will be able to begin again with new information and greater knowledge of the landscape. All right, Cancer, so don't worry. This is how Cancer moves naturally, right? They're like, what's up, son? What's up, son? What's up, Sonny? What's up, Sonny? Oh my God, my nieces are cancers. They like jump up and down in your face. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> You're trying to like hug them. Ah! Uh, and they like, they jump over here. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, uh. You know, hugging a cancer is tough, man. You got to hug a cancer. You know, and the cancer loves hug. The hug a cancer, you got to go like this and you got to go, oh, you got to put your arms, you got to go, go, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh! <laughs> and then hold on because cancers be like, oh, go, go, go. They're not like, all right. They're like, okay, next, next. The labyrinth card can mean a puzzle or problem requiring rational deduction to solve. There are no easy answers or shortcuts. A narrow viewpoint will keep you from seeing the larger picture. You should also notice that this card shows more than one person. It's a message that you're not going down this road alone. Others are facing the same challenges and may be able to help you work out a solution. This card might also illustrate your frustrating attempts to connect with others. Cancer, I say that again. Who's in the house? Oh, B Water's in the house. Yo, B Water, what's up? I don't always notice everybody here on the chat. Thanks, Gabe. Okay, here we go. Here we go. B Water, I'm just recording the Cancer Tarot Scopes for, the, for May. And I'll be back with you guys. All right. Okay, so Cancer. You should also... Na okay, okay, okay. There are no easy answers or shortcuts. A narrow viewpoint will keep you from seeing the larger picture. You should also notice that this card shows more than one person. It's a message that you're not going down this road alone. Others are facing the same challenges and may be able to help you work out a solution. This card might also illustrate your frustrating attempts to connect with others. Something is keeping you separate from people or goals. Now is not the time to turn your back on others. As you calculate your next move, think not just of how you can get ahead individually, but how you can contribute to group solutions. All right, Cancer, 
That's the action. Be like the water. Be like the water. You mean like wet, sunny? I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else is water? Water's wet. Water's also like... Wet? <laughs> yeah. No. Water's also like... Watery? <laughs> anybody read? Anybody, anybody do their homework last night? <laughs> okay, here we go. B Water says flowing. Wait. One of our sunny siders here is called B Water. <laughs> water is flowing. Yes. Water is flowing like. Like. What does water flow like? Water? Be water. Water flows like. The flow. <laughs> you guys are fun. Oh, man. All right, next. Okay, so that's it. So, labyrinth, all right? Now, I forgot to show you guys something. I don't show you guys this all the time because it's it's the tarot readings, not the astrology readings. But watch this. Just a little recap on what's going on. So, let's put Cancer back on the Ascendant here so you can, it's easier for you to see. This is what's going on right now, and it's going to change. It's You know, I've already done the monthly horoscope, so just to let Cancer know, this is the action for the, uh, you know, end of April, right? But Venus is going to be transiting this astro sector right here for tr Cancer for most of the month of May. And this is your astro sector of stuff that's behind the scenes. It's your support network. It's your past. It's your uh, it's your clearing out. It's your, um, your conscious, your subconscious. So... Wherever Venus enters in your chart, you're going to attract love and you're going to attract money. But you're also going to get a little, you're going to have clarity and it's going to be, you know, a little easy going. So like if Venus is in your sixth house, you could get really lazy, let's say. You know, but then again, if Venus is in your second house, you're going to attract money. You know, Venus is in your fourth house, you're going to, good things, are you're going to get a break on the rent. If Venus is in your, you know... It all depends on where it is. Venus in the 12th house means you're going to attract behind the scenes romances. It means someone's going to have a crush on you. Someone from the past is going to come up and say, hey, what's up, player? And you're going to be like, no, not much. I know you talking to me, you talking to me, and they're talking to you. So for cancers, it's all behind the scenes. Look around. So just remind you guys, love is out there every single day if you know where to look. And this is a situation where you're going to go through a whole month and say, nobody loves me, nobody loves me. But love is there if you know where to look. And that's my job, to show you where to find it. Money is the same thing. People are going to secretly give you money. Like, this is all about, like, a secret admirer sending you flowers kind of stuff. you got to check in the mail. You don't know where it's coming from. Someone's going to help you out. And that's what it is. And if you're looking for love, you got to look around and find You go, hey, you looking at me? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Well, you want to go for coffee? Mm, only if nobody finds out. All right, I'm down with that. For a month anyways. <laughs> and so... That's the kind of action that's going on. So be so be cool. You're very popular with your friends, but love is behind the scenes for the month. And it's Labyrinth. The Labyrinth card says, you know, there are going to be stops and starts, and you're going sideways, so you got to, you know, watch yourself. You're going sideways, so you got to watch yourself. But um, it means you're not in this alone. This might feel, when Venus transits the 12th house, you're not, you're going to feel like you're doing it alone, but you're not. It's just behind the scenes. Someone is sh people like you, but they're a little shy, and that's what's going on. All right, let's get back to the cards. <laughs> I hear that. Gabe saying no thanks. That's why the past is the past. If it didn't work out the first time, then it's no thanks. Yeah, I totally see that. <laughs> I totally see that. Letting go is a good thing too. I'm a Scorpio. I'm good at letting go. And Karen says, water dampens ripples. Yeah, it can also take the shape of a wave and propagate or magnify forces. It can wear away rock by gently but persistently flowing. <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. I'm just recording the Cancer hor cancer Tarot Scopes for the month of, um, month of uh, May. And I hope everyone is having a, a wonderful day. And I hope you are feeling better. Karen's a Leo. <laughs> All right. Here we go. 
The Emperor! Do 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 So here he goes with the Emperor. See those pillars he's holding? They refer they allude to Boaz and Jaquin. Those are the pillars that sit at the portrait entrance of King Solomon's temple. Oh yeah, Sonny had to memorize that lecture, that's for sure. <laughs> and so but then what's going on is there's a situation where um you know, the Torah talks about the way and the different people you meet on your journey and the different ways you can go through your path. And, you know, we have avarice and profusion, you know, which, on, which border our path. We have good and evil, which border our path. Or we have peace and, you know, the opposite of peace, which is, I guess, whole. No, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> the wrong kind of peace. The opposite of wet, which is wet. Tur <laughs> so, anyways, those are the pillars that you're going through. And so... So there are cards like the High Priestess, which says that on your through your path, something is blocking your path that you're unfamiliar with, and that you don't know. Information is going to be revealed. In the Hierophant or, high, or the Pope, there's like a teacher is going to be there on your way. In the Chariot, the pillars are beginning to shake. They're the horses in the... And like you're getting your journey and you're revving it up and you're in control and you're about to shake your pillars and go right ram through your path uh, on this chariot and the pillars are beginning to shake and those are the horses and you're going to control it. And this one is the emperor. So Cancer, the emperor is saying, be cool, be benevolent, be in control. It's Aries energy. So be aggressive and get your game in your game. The month of, May, which is not a problem because Cancer is a cardinal sign. <laughs> cardinals is, cancer is a sign of like, let's get it done. So Cancer, first up is, the, well, for, so Cancer is the emperor. That means be aggressive in your actions. Be confident, be benevolent. And ABC, the rules of the sunny side. ABC, always be cool, unless you're in English class, and then it's always be conjugating. Or, or French class, always be conjugating. Stop, son, just read the cards. Okay, next. Moon. Now, we all know the Cancer rules of the moon in astrology, but in the Tarot, this card actually represents Pisces. And this means being trapped, having your emotions trapped. It means it's time for an emotional rebirth in the tarot we have the situation where you're being trapped by a bunch of forces the forces the wolf and the hound and those are internal forces that are they're protecting you right they're you're like you want to get out and express yourself and you want to use your emotions and you want to wear your heart on your sleeve and get and you know just be a loving force in this world especially in may <clears throat> Especially with love going on all around you, but the you, like you, you've trapped yourself for some particular reason, which is you know that's what's going on. And so, but <laughs> if you can get past this, then you're going to go in this, and then you have to encounter the waterfall, and that's everyone else trying to put you on your place. You know, so many times that you change yourself, and you're like, oh, I'm ready to take on the world, but the world is like, ah, 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 player, you back in your spot. That's what's going on. But if you're nice and strong then you can ascend the waterfall into the light of a beautiful new day, which is your rebirth that you're looking for. In addition to that, it talks about using your intuition, right? Using your intuition and bringing it to light. Bringing what's inside of you to light. And that's that. And that's that. So it's a card of being confident, being str So first, you're going to have to start and stop and start and stop and start and stop. But it's okay. It also means you're not in this on your own right it's so keep going then it's the emperor you know be strong abs always be strong what <laughs> okay always be cool then the moon you know it's an emotional rebirth it's a time of emotional growth and this is the high priestess something is someone is standing in your way you have a lot of cancer -y kind of energy in this thing this is the moon this is ruled by the moon this is the moon, right? It's like right here. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is the moon. And this card is the moon. Seriously, you said it was... A, you said the moon right here. Why are you bugging me? <laughs> okay. And then so... And anyways, <laughs> it's all cancer stuff. And in this one, it means information is going to be revealed to you. So in the month of May, watch this. So in the month of May, we're going to have... Let's go back to here for a second. See? In the month of May... It's all about what's cancer. It's all about what's hidden. So stuff that's hidden, it's not necessarily going to come to light until the 20th of May when the light comes into here. It's all about attracting behind the scenes. And halfway through the month, it's gonna, uh, you're going to have your, some revelations. Right? So this card is going to come through halfway through the month. 
and that's the action. So once again, stops and starts. Don't worry about it. You're not in this alone. Be confident. Keep going. Aries is aggressive. Keep going. Keep going. Don't be argumentative. You know, like Aries. Just be, keep going. Then we have cancer. Then we have the moon, which means you know, wear your heart on the sleeve and keep going. And something is going to be revealed to you. And that's the action, Cancer. I hope you have a super amazing month. I do wish you the best. If you have any questions, just come on into the sunny side and hang out and be, what's up? You know, maybe make a friend. It's together. It's a beautiful day. And just remember, there's love in your chart every single day if you know where to look. And that's my job. From the sunny side.net, I'm sunny wishing all Cancers the absolute best of a super beautiful month of May. And I'll see you guys soon.